In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can go from the equation of a line to the graph of a line. We've seen before taking the equation of the line, picking values for x and plugging them in and getting several points, but that takes way too long. And often the points aren't very nice. So a much better way would be to first identify the slope and y-intercept of the graph. If we can identify those two values, we can start the graph at the y-intercept, or the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, and then use the slope, which is rise over run, to change to find the second point, and then simply connect the dots. Again, slope is rise over run. So for example, if we're asked to graph the equation y equals negative 3 ha fourths x plus 2, we remember that y equals mx plus b, and we can quickly see that m, the slope, is negative 3 fourths. We can also see quickly that b, the y-intercept, is 2. So we can graph this by starting at the y-intercept. Remember, y is the vertical axis. That's very important. The vertical axis starting at 2. There's my first point. And to find my next point, the slope is the rise over the run. We're going to rise negative 3 and run positive 4. Notice that negative only goes on one of them. So I'm going to rise negative 3 and run 4 to get to my next point. Connecting the dots. It's not a very straight line. Let me, uh, maybe do a little better with it. There we go, that's a little straighter. That becomes the line that is represented by the equation y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Let's try another example. This time we're going to graph 3x minus 2y equals 2. And you'll notice this one is not in the slope-intercept form that we like it to be. So, we'll put it in slope-intercept form. We know we can do that by balancing on the equals. We have to subtract 3x from both sides, ultimately trying to get the y alone. That gives us negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 2, we like to put the x term first, divide each term by negative 2, and we get y equals, negative divided by a negative is a positive 3 halves x, positive divided by a negative is a negative 1. Now we've solved for y, we put it into slope-intercept form of y equals mx plus b. And now we can quickly identify the slope, m, is 3 halves. And we can also quickly identify that b, the y-intercept, is negative 1. We can now graph this line by starting at the y-intercept of negative 1, that's the vertical axis, and then using the slope, rise, over run to find the next point. We'll rise 3 and run 2, and we've got our next point. Connect the dots to come up with our line. This line represents the equation 3x minus 2y equals 2, and all the solutions therein. To graph a line, we simply identify the slope and y-intercept. We might have to solve for y first. Start at the y-intercept and use the slope to find the next point, rise over run. 